Okay, hello virtual YouTube audience. This is a Zenfone AR for augmented reality. I've had it about three weeks now and I just wanted to make this video because today Apple announced their iPhone 10. So augmented reality is all the rage. This is the Zenfone AR. Um, I'm gonna steer you away from that Apple iPhone 10. Because, uh, unless you want to literally be a talking shithead emoji, I don't know much about the rear-facing camera capabilities. I know they've got a front-facing camera that is pretty much just a biometric uh, lock for your phone. and other th it's a, We'll get into it, but I just wanted to show you the Zenfone AR. It's got a 23 megapixel camera, a fisheye lens for motion tracking, and an infrared camera with a laser for time of flight uh, depth sensing. It can determine how far away the pixel is and place it there. Um, I'm loving it. This thing is incredible. One of the apps, I'm going to probably show you two in this video, um, but this app should be installed by default and it is not. It is Matterport Scenes. So it's really great uh, for a trick at work or a trick at the bar. I've showed my coworkers and strangers. Look at that. You see how it just paints in the pixels? It's fairly incredible. So I'll turn it around and you can see that laser is what it's doing. Then it does image matching to pick up right where I left off. Now, Matterport is the company that does the real estate cameras. It does 3D, uh, 3D cameras for real estate. So let me just kind of paint in the rest. Black doesn't reflect as well as it could. But that's no problem if you just hold the camera in one spot for a while. It should resolve. So I'm not going to take forever doing this, but as a quick trick to do at the bar or at lunch break at work, it's pretty damn cool. Uh, let me get the floor where I'm standing here. Whoop, move too fast and you have to return to your previous position to match the scene. And just that fast, if I can manage maneuvering the phone and the camera at the same time. Look at that. I mean, it never fails to get a shocked reaction out of people. Uh, I do photogrammetry workflows, so I'm kind of used to this capability with normal photos, but it would take hours. Like, uh, if you do this with a GeoSoft photo scan, it would take quite some time to process the images. But this is just a point cloud and it's still really impressive. I'm just gonna save that. The file sizes end up being you know roughly a hundred megabytes or so optimizing the model. So um, another strong thing about this Zenfone AR it's about 650 bucks. Now the iPhone it says that it's, what, $1,000? No, you know, it's $999, and I guarantee they did that just to have an upside-down 666. I mean, Apple, really. The forbidden fruit of knowledge. It's a little biblical reference, but I don't make politically controversial videos, okay? I make monetized videos. So we'll stay away from that subject for the moment. See, it loads nice and fast. You can make a very cool... 3D scene. So the other app I will show you now that that is done would be Open Tango Constructor. Now Google or yeah Google just discontinued the branding for Tango, so this might be the last phone they have with a Tango logo on the back. They're now call, calling it AR Core. So we'll show you what we can do with. Um, Open Constructor. 
previously called Open Tango Constructor. Uh, this phone also has. Um, it's daydream ready, so you can put it in the virtual reality viewer. We're going to do a 2 centimeter resolution. And this one takes a little bit longer, but you just start. You got to hold it in one spot for a little bit longer. And you can see my reflection there. It's not making a point cloud, but it's making the mesh right away, the 3D mesh. So what's kind of neat is walking around in the 3D mesh. I hope I can get a focus on this without my reflection. So it's kind of cool moving around the 3D mesh. You can see through objects that you haven't totally scanned. It's really interesting. Just uh, this is it takes a little bit longer, like I said, but I'm just trying to do the quick demo version. Okay, I'm too far away. Let's 3D scan the cat, of course. Cat sleeping on the bed. I like that it whoops, I shut it off. Let me turn it back on. I like that it tells you the wrong pin. Wrong pin. It tells you the amount of RAM you're using. Whoops, I totally fucked up the whole video just now. Open constructor. Continue scanning. Well, how about that? Picks up right where I left off, right? Match this frame. Wow, that's cool. It gives me a black and white frame to match. I can line the cat up. And there we are. And then press the record button. So that's the first time I've experienced that. I might get a little bit of ghosting from that. But I'm just going to continue. Looks a little bit darker. Yeah, I got ghosting from that. So I'm just going to put this down and save it. This is more the photogrammetry process that I'm used to. It's getting rid of underexposed photos. Um, you can show the results right now. You can continue scanning to make the model a little bit better or you can finish it. When you finish it, it does a post-processing and applies high resolution photos to the texture or high resolution textures to the mesh. It might have taken 100 or 200 photos in that short time, yeah, 144 photos. So, it processes them very quickly. I mean, geez. It's almost more powerful than the uh, tower computer I bought last year. That would take hours on uh, a GSoft photo scan. So, there's the result. You get a nice, beautiful. Uh, 3D model with high resolution textures which it uses a plugin to convert it to a daydream ready model and for some reason the textures don't show up you see how it does that it just gives me red polygons um, back Uh, you can upload to Sketchfab. That's the very good thing about Open Tango Constructor. You can upload to Sketchfab right away, and from there you can use Firefox Nightly to view it in the Oculus Rift right away. So I've just been scanning everything. I've done so many scans. It's addictive. I can't stop. These are all my Matterport scans. Jeez. It's a new art form. I'm just doing like taking photos. Scanned myself sitting in my car. I scanned all these rooms at work. I'll show you Glam Doll Donuts. 
I scanned the facade, we went and visited Glam Doll Donuts, and we did a point cloud over the facade of the building. Very, very fun stuff. So, uh, in my opinion, although I don't know much about the capabilities of the Mark of the Beast uh, biometric face scanning shithead emoji talking <laughs> iPhone 10, oh, iPhone X, that's another Mark of the Beast um, thing, I would recommend the Zen phone for 650 bucks. So, thanks for watching this. Uh, I won't bore you with technology forever, but hey, we're boosting up the channel watch time and the views, and most importantly, the money. I don't make a whole lot, but if you like this video, please do all the YouTube culture stuff, you know, thumbs it up, share it. Leave me a comment. Um, what do you want to scan with uh, your new augmented reality capabilities on whatever the next phone you're going to get will be? Farewell. I'll see you in the metaverse most likely in one of these environments that I scan. That's the cool thing. That's the cool part. Because uh, um, Open Tango Constructor makes OBJ files. And OBJ files, you can put those into a VR chat pretty easily. So I made that scan just now. I could probably do a demonstration within 10 minutes of getting uh, a scan put into virtual reality and then uh, put into a social VR app and you could inhabit the scan pretty quick so 12 minute video that's a good watch time peace out people we'll see you around the internet